That is a great question and um, a very grown-up question, too. You kids must be very, very smart. Um, so, oh, we just lost you. You're back. Um, so, do you guys know the difference between a college and a university? Anybody? Anybody? No. no. Okay, so colleges typically don't have graduate schools. Universities do. So, for example, Penn State University has older students who are getting their technical degrees in many graduate fields. Um, whereas, who else do you have up there that's a college? Let's see. Um, the College of New Jersey, though, doesn't have graduate schools. So, Dartmouth is called a college because we focus on undergraduate students. We have about 4,000 students at our school. How many students do you guys have? We have about 400 in our school. 400, so we're about 10 times bigger than you guys. Wow. Yeah, pretty big. I love your signs, by the way. <laughs> Thank um, you. But we also, we do have a few graduate schools here, but they're not part of the college. Students take classes with professors in small classrooms. So you guys are very smart. So we are a college, we're Dartmouth College, and we are proud of it. What is your school mascot? In school colors. That is a great question. Can you guys guess what our school colors are from, from Not the sign? White and green. You're all very smart. Yes. It's white and right here. White and green. You guys are very, very good. And I black wore my little. I wore my green today just because I, I figured that would help you guys figure out the color. Um, our school mascot is called the big green. The big green. The big I know. Silly, right? And it's actually, we, we've never had an official mascot, that one that runs around the football stadium. But it's called the Big Green. And we, um, and I think one of the reasons we're called the Big Green is because if you ever come visit us at Dartmouth, we're a very green place. We have a lot of trees. We got a lot of grass. We, it's very, very beautiful. So we're called the Big Green. So we say at football games, we say, go Big Green. I know, uh, just from visiting New Hampshire, I've never actually been to the Dartmouth co campus, but visiting New, New Hampshire and seeing the photos of Dartmouth, uh, it's what you would typically picture a college campus to look like. That's you know, amazing. large steepled buildings, large open uh, quads, grass areas for the, uh, the students to kind of congregate on. And I think that it's really fitting that being up in, in the Northeast, up in the, uh, the woods up in New Hampshire, that Big Green would be the perfect name for the school. You're right. Absolutely. Go ahead. So how did that, how did the Big Green, how did you guys even get to, uh, to be known as the Big Green? That's a very good question. Well, and You know? Uh, what, green around your school. There is a lot of green around our school. And also, um, the other Ivy League schools. Have you guys heard of Ivy League schools? Nope. No? No? Okay. So the Ivy League schools are some of the oldest schools in the United States. And there's one in New Jersey. Have you guys heard of Princeton? I think I've heard of it. Yeah. You've heard of it? Yeah, that's, that's an Ivy League school in New Jersey. And Dartmouth is an Ivy League school, and they're a group of 10 of us. And long story short, we picked green and white and the big green because all, we looked at all of the other Ivy League schools' colors, and none of them had the color green. So we picked the one that they didn't have. I like that. You get a lot of crimson in those Ivy League schools, right? You know that black Lots of crimson. What, what are your colors? Oh. Um, blue, and, blue and orange. Yep. Blue and orange. Yep, well, and, and we are the Titans. Wow. Whoa, I wouldn't yeah. mess with the Titans. <laughs> yep, oh, and there they are. Yep, Great. And, and that's actually our logo, the KT for Keensburg Titans down there. But we, I, I decided to add a little graduation cap to that one. Yeah, okay, it, it used to be a panda. Oh, it used to be a panda. Yeah, we, we, we something a little more fierce. Awesome. Go ahead, Luz. So how many students you say attended Dartmouth? About 4,000 undergraduate students at the college. And, yeah, and now that's actually considered probably a medium to small sized college, correct? That's correct, yes. Because we've talked to some schools that have upwards of forty to 50,000 students, so when you see the contrast there, it's, it's quite big. Yeah, we're 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 on the we're on the medium size. You know what I, I like to tell the kids too, especially coming from a, school, a district like this where we graduate about a hundred seniors every year. That's it. 
something going going to a school like Dartmouth or, or the College of New Jersey, Ramapo, those schools that are smaller in the 4,000 range might be something that's more comfortable for them down the road. Absolutely. Go ahead, John. Um, we're missing number four. Yeah, I know. How big are your classes' size? That's a great question. Let me ask you guys, how many students are in your class? 17. 17. Well, we're not so far from that. The average class size here is about 22, 23 students. But some classes for freshmen can get much bigger. They can be about 100 students. And some classes for seniors can be really tiny with only five. That's all of you guys in one class. Wow. You know what, I, that's almost like they went to an assembly this morning, and that's like going to class right. with that. There wasn't even that much. Yeah, there wasn't even 100 students, probably. No. There was but probably only like, like 50. There were like 19. There wasn't 50. Well, no, not even that no, many? There was like two no, classes. Like, oh, okay. Oh, okay, so that like, wasn't bad we, at all. We used to have 18 students, but one moved to Pennsylvania. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was the problem. Go ahead, John. So my assistant here, Katie, just looked that up, and I have the exact number of miles. Guess how many miles? 275. 309. Wow. I'm close. I, I, I guessed 500. 500 is close. If you guys started walking now, you might get here by May. <laughs> by May. In a couple months, you might get there. <laughs> it's, I've, I drive there all the time because I go see my family, and it's about... Five hours in the car. About five hours in the car, which isn't bad. Go ahead, yeah. John. What type, types of things are there to do on and around your school? So what types of things are there to do both on Dartmouth campus and then right around in the, in the surrounding area? That's a great question. Um, we have a great outing club, which includes um, canoeing. Have you guys ever been canoeing? No. Yeah, I have. No. Yeah. No? I have you ever been swimming? Swimming? Yes. I, mean, yes. I, swim. I don't know how to swim. I no? Have, have any of you ever been skiing? Oh, oh. I, I, I only know how to swim underwater. I can't swim. Well, <laughs> well, we've got, we've got all sorts of things for kids to do outside, and then we have a lot of things to do inside, too. We have a great orchestra. Do any of you like music? Yes. Yes? I like the drums. Well, you like the drums? I'm getting my own name. I like the simple singing parrot at the Yeah, we've got, we've got a lot to do. So students are pretty busy up here, probably a lot like you. Do you have any symbols in this school? Oh, we have symbols. Oh, good. We definitely have symbols. Yeah. What do most students like to do on the weekend? So being that we're about five hours away, chances are we'd be staying on Dartmouth's campus, you know, when we yes. go to school there. Are there a lot of things to do on the weekends? There are so many things to do. First of all, we have 360 clubs and organizations. That's a lot of clubs. Yeah. We have a, um, do you guys like ice hockey? I never tried it. <laughs> you can go watch it. You can go watch everyone play it. We've got um, a ton of things in the town of Hanover. We have a movie theater. We have a lot of little shops. We have lots and lots of things for students to do. It's very fun up here. Excellent. Go ahead, Ian. What types of sports are offered at your school? Great question. We have 34 sports, and that includes baseball. Do you guys like baseball? Yep. Yes. Football, soccer. We, we even have um, horseback riding. Yeah, pretty cool. So we've got a lot of sports in here, and, and a lot of people go to the games and yell, Go Big Green! <laughs> Good, go ahead, Ian. Do you have any rivals? Any, ri any rivals? Oh, we do. Princeton, which is in New Jersey. Yeah. Harvard, which is in Massachusetts. And Duke. Have you guys heard of Duke? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you've got Duke up there? Yep, up on the top. Yep, they're, they're one of our rivals, too. So those are those are three of our rivals. Yep, excellent. Who, do you, who are your rivals? Do you guys have rivals? Yep, we have a rival with uh, Keyport, which is two towns over from us. Yep. And then we have a Catholic school, which is just up the road from us, called Modern Day, who is our big rival. 
Oh, well, the Titans need to beat them. That's right, the Seraphs. They're the Seraphs. Seraphs. <laughs> Go ahead. We do, and um, the one fun one that we talk about is um, our winter carnival, where we build a snow sculpture that's three stories high in the middle of campus, and all the students make it out of snow, and it usually looks like something. So last year we had a big cupcake, the biggest cupcake you've ever seen. Um, two years ago we had um, the uh, cat in the hat. You guys know the cat in the hat? Yeah. 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 Yeah, so we make a big snow sculpture in the middle of campus. It's really, really fun. Nice. It's like, uh, that's better than making just a regular old snowman. It's not like that's right. care of. <laughs> it's like a regular old snowball, too. That's it. What, what is your school of those? What is your school best known for? What is school best known for? I'll tell you what. Have you guys ever heard of Dr. Seuss? Yeah. Yeah, he's, a, he's the guy that, he's by, um, he wrote Captain Pan he yep. Kind of Guess where he went to college? Where, yeah, where do you think he went to college? He, he also wrote Wacky Wednesday. Wacky yep. Wednesday? What's that? Where, where do you think he went to college? I don't know, here? Yes. Dartmouth. Dartmouth, Dartmouth, yeah. Dr. Seuss went to Dartmouth. Here. Yep. So we that's a fun fact, and he's a, he's a fun alumni. And we actually have a medical school on campus called the Dr. Seuss School of Medicine. Mm -hmm. Wow. Even though he wasn't a real doctor. <laughs> right. <laughs> Go ahead, David. So when people come to visit Dartmouth's campus, what, what is it about the, the school that makes people want to choose to attend? Yeah, I think it's because our students are really, really mm -hmm. friendly. And we live in a tiny town called Hanover, which um, is, like I said, it's about four hours from New Jersey. And students who are here are really, really friendly, they're really, really outgoing, and they like to do silly things like make big snow sculptures. So I think we have a lot of fun, and that's why students want to go here. Now, you guys don't have just students from the Northeast, right? You guys are, are pretty well renowned as one of the top colleges in the country. Oh, yeah. I was actually in Brazil. Do you guys know where Brazil is? No. It's very far from here. It's about 10 hours in a plane. I was in Brazil this past year recruiting students that are coming here now. So we have students from California and from Hong Kong and from Canada and Mexico and all over the place. So even internationally known. Mm -hmm. How big is your campus? Our campus is very big. It's about 260 acres. Wow. We have our own golf course. We have our own ski area. We have our own equestrian stables. It's huge. We even have three frozen yogurt machines. Whoa. Three frozen yogurt yeah. machines. Go ahead, Dave. How do most people get around campus? Can you say, I can't hear it. How do most people get around campus? So how do people, most people get around? That's a really great question. We have a bus company called the Dartmouth Coach that goes every day to Boston and New York City. But when they're on campus, you can walk everywhere. So you can walk or bike. Do you guys bike? Do you guys have bicycles? I do. Yep, you can bicycle ride around campus. I, I won one at the school. I don't nice. ride a bike. Oh. Go ahead, Dave. Um, what are your most popular majors? What are your That's most popular majors? Great question, because you are coming here to study, don't forget, not That's just to ride your bike. Right. We have um, biology, English, government, chemistry, um, engineering, um, history, math, all sorts of things that you guys are taking probably in school right now. We've got up here, and they're pretty popular. We have 56 majors. Now, Lucy has already kind of picked her school out. Do you want to tell what school you want to go to? I want to go to RISD. She wants to go to RISD. RISD is a great school. Uh, she really wants to be a cartoonist, but... She kind of likes what you're saying about Dartmouth. She, she just told me. Do you guys have a fine arts program? We have a great fine arts program. And in fact, if you came here, right down the street is the School for Cartoon Studies. And we have a little fellowship pro pro project with them where Dartmouth students will go there on the weekends and draw cartoons. Some of them are in the newspaper. Excellent. Go ahead, Dave. I'm oh, no, sorry. Dylan, your turn. What is the cost of your school? What's the cost of Dartmouth? It's a lot of money. 
Um, it's about sixty thousand dollars a year. What? Wow. But wait, but Hold wait. On. We have full financial aid, so there are a lot of students at Dartmouth. If they can't afford to pay it, their parents are getting lots and lots of money in financial aid to go here, and we meet a hundred percent of a family's financial aid need. So we make it possible for anyone, no matter if they're really, really rich like a king or really, really poor like a mouse, to be able to go here. That's the second school. When we actually spoke to Duke, that was the same, the same um, admission, uh, financial aid uh, philosophy that they had, that if you have the ability to be accepted into Duke, whatever it is that they can do to help you meet the cost, they'll do. That's right. We have the same program. All of the other Ivies do, too. Princeton and Harvard and Cornell and Brown. We all have a very similar program. Excellent. Do you offer scholarships? Yes, we have lots of scholarships that are need-based scholarships. Mm -hmm. and, and in fact, we have a program where if your parents don't make about $100,000 a year, you can come to Dartmouth for free. Oh, wow. wow. Cool. That's excellent. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, when you guys, just speaking about admission standards, when you guys, I know Dartmouth is one of, has some incredibly high admission standards, but when you look at admissions, um, do you look just on test scores and academics, or do you kind of take that holistic approach where you see, you know, how innovative is this student? Do, what have they done in their community? Or do they volunteer? Have they started any organizations? Things along those lines as well? Yes, we look at every single thing. So we look at your clubs, <laughs> your grades, your teacher recommendations, so you got to be nice to Mr. Herbert. <laughs> but one of the things, my fun fact about Dartmouth is that we require everyone who applies to Dartmouth has to ask a friend to write us a recommendation. It's something that makes us very special. So, David, you'd have to ask, you know, John over there to write you a letter of recommendation and tell us why we should admit you. So that's a very fun part as well. Oh, you better be nice to your friends then, huh? That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, Dylan. We do. Well, I already told you about one. Do you remember who that was? Who was their, the first famous one that they said? Go ahead, Ian. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. Yes. He's... He's probably our most favorite, uh, famous with eight kids your age. Um, we also have a guy named C. Everett Coop that um, actually was in the news last week. He was very, very, very old, and he was very involved with science and medicine. Um, we have, um, yeah, we've got a lot of people. I'm not sure you guys would know, but Dr. Seuss is probably our, our most most famous one. Excellent. Go ahead. What do you like most about your school? What do you like most about working for Dartmouth? You know what I like about our school? We've got a big green, a big, um, it's almost like a courtyard in the middle of campus, and kids hang out there. Kids, there, there are dogs out there. We have um, little farmer's markets there in the summer, and it's a great place to just go hang out in the middle of campus, have some conversations with some of your other classmates, and the teachers hang out there too, which I think is really, really important. Excellent. Now, this is where we can get some impromptu questions. Okay. But does anyone have any questions? Of, go ahead, Ian. For most class sizes, you would say that there's definitely enough space to hold the maximum amount. There's never any not desks for, for students there. You will have a seat, I promise you. Yes. Go ahead, John. How wide is like, how tall are some of the buildings at your school? You know what? My little assistant just looked that up. The highest building on campus is 175 feet. Wow. Actually, wow. it's your whole entire school. Yeah. And how big is it? It's probably about maybe a mile wide if you just use the, if you just use the places where there's buildings. But if you go further, we've got golf courses. It's probably like four or five miles wide. So our town is about one square mile. So if we walk from our school to the boardwalk, that would be how big Dartmouth's campus is. Yep. Go ahead, yep. Uh, Dave. How, how much money do you buy? Uh, that's a great question. I don't know if you would even know that. When the college was founded, do you know what they paid for the land that they bought it for? I don't know. You stumped me. But that's a really good question. <laughs> Dylan? Do you have lacrosse? Do you have lacrosse? 
yes, we have a very good lacrosse team. To sport. Now, I have a question. Yeah. When you come to Dartmouth, are you guaranteed housing when you are uh, admitted into the school? You are. Actually, all freshmen have to live on campus. And we have really, really nice dorms. Some of them even have fireplaces in them. Wow. Um, so Yeah. And you get to pick your roommate after freshman year, so that's fun, too. Good. John? Does anybody actually sleep at Dartmouth? Oh, great question. Do people sleep at Dartmouth? Oh, yeah. Sleep is important, right? Because otherwise we'd all be cranky. So, yeah. yes, they sleep in their dorms. And, and what you just said was when you come as a freshman, your first year at Dartmouth, you have to live on, on the school if you, get, if you have to live on the school's campus when you get in there. Some schools, you know, if you went to Monmouth University or Rutgers, which is around here, you might not have to live on campus. You might be able to drive to school every day. But if you were accepted to Dartmouth, you have to live on their, on their campus for the first year that you attend school there. That's right. Go ahead, Ian. How many faculty do you have? No, that's a good question that I don't know off the top of my head. Um, I would guess that we'd have about 1,000. 1,000 teachers. Now, does anyone want to share your idea for your major? So that that... 5,000 people in your school. You are good at math. <laughs> you want to tell her what you want to be when you grow up, Tom? Um, a minor or a cop. Yeah, he either wants to work in geology or be a police officer. That's great. Go ahead, Dave. Yeah, it, David wants to go into athletics. Boxer or football player? NFL player. I want to be a cop or a clown. <laughs> that would be that. So you know what? He could be a uh, police officer and then and then be a, a clown to help uh, entertain the students when they come in to do talks, right? That is a really good idea. All right. So now you told us one of, one of the chants that we would do if we were at Dartmouth, which would be "Go Big Green," right? Right. Are there any other good cheers that we could practice here? Oh gosh, I don't know. I don't know off the top of my head. I think "Go Big Green" is the is. Is the big one. All right, so everybody get your signs ready. Go ahead. You, you got to do it loud, though, like you're at. Go Big Green! Woo! <laughs> All right. Great. Thank you so much for taking Thank the time. Thank you so much, kids. I hope to see you here in a couple of years. Yeah, they got 10 years. 10 years from now, I, I, I'm hoping that you'll see at least one of these guys. Uh, application cross over the desks of the admissions counselors there at Dartmouth. Yes. I Oh, one more question. Go ahead, Luz. I have a question, too. Is there any way um, you could put the show on TV? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not, but I'll tell you what I'll do, because you guys need a Dartmouth little pennant, so I'm going to send you some stuff in the mail. So that would be they, absolutely awesome. Put that up on your board. I'll show you. Well, we actually have, I'm going to turn you here for a second. Okay. If you look over here, we actually have the pennants of every school we have ever talked to so far, both this year and last year. Uh, and we are starting to fill up my computer lab there, so, wow. You've got a big one. That, so. You know what? I'll, I'll make Dartmouth have its own special row just for that. Awesome. Thank you, guys.